I think meetings are one of the biggest hindrances and costs to organisations. Now, I'm not saying that meetings aren't worthwhile, but I think that if you're having dead, dumb meetings that are not actually producing outstanding results, then you're doing it wrong. What I want to share with you right now is a framework on how you can have dynamic meetings. Hi, Colin Boyd from colinboyd.com.au here and a lot of my clients when I speak with them in my productivity programs or communications programs will speak to me about how they really are just sick and tired of being in dumb, dead, boring meetings. You know when you're in a meeting and you're sitting there thinking, why on earth am I here? Many of my clients say that they experience this. So I think you need to think about two things to make a meeting work well. The first thing you need to think about is context. When I say context, there are three types of meetings. There are action meetings, tactical meetings, and strategic meetings. So you've got to make sure that you are putting the right context with the right type of meeting. For example, if you're running an action meeting, which is like a, just a daily huddle style meeting, and you start getting onto strategic topics, that's when people are going to start turning off and feeling like, you know, maybe I shouldn't be here. Because you're putting the wrong context in the conversation. So you've got to get the context right. That's the first thing. The second thing you've got to get is engagement. And engagement is where people are actually sharing what they really think. They're contributing, they're getting feedback in the meetings. So it's a two-way conversation, not just a one-way conversation. Engagement is so important in making the meeting alive and not dead. So if we put these two elements on a spectrum, if we had context and we had engagement, down below you can see that I've actually drawn this quadrant. So if you get your meeting in the right context, but there isn't a high level of engagement, it's gonna be a dead meeting, because it's gonna be boring, right? If you get people highly engaged, so they're really talking about the topic you're talking about, but it's the wrong context, it's gonna be just a distracting meeting. It's gonna distract you from what's really, what you really should be talking about. Now, if you can get the right engagement level, high engagement, and the right context, you actually get a dynamic meeting. And I guess the opposite of that is wrong context, low engagement, which is a dumb meeting, which many of us have. So to have a dynamic, dynamic meeting, you need to get the context right and the engagement high. Hey, I really hope you have some more dynamic meetings. So that's today's tip around how to have dynamic meetings, how to move your meetings from being dumb and boring to being actually dynamic and deliberate. I trust this has been valuable, so please like it and tweet it. And I have these conversations with people in organizations all the time. So if you're in an organization now and you're thinking, hey, we have really bad meetings, feel welcome to contact me. I'd love to have a conversation with you about how you can create dynamic meetings in your organization. Speak to you soon.